In the following movie, we'll take a look at making a change to a finite element only model. A finite element only model consists only of nodes and elements. Here we're importing a Nastran bulk data file into NXCAE. We'd like to make a change to the cross member in order to make more room for a larger component. We have some geometry that we will bring in to the finite element model to use as a guide for how we're going to make our modification to the finite element model. Next, we'll hide some of the nodes and elements that we don't need. Next, we'll morph the mesh to conform to the geometry. By morphing the mesh, we're not actually changing the element numbers or node numbers or element or node counts. We're simply modifying the existing nodes and elements to conform to the new geometry. As part of the mesh morph command, we can specify node mapping. Uh, the first node mapping set that we'll define are the nodes that we want to be fixed or ones that are not going to move. This will anchor the nodes and elements that we've selected for the mesh morphing operation. Next we'll define nodes that we'd like to morph to a particular edge we can easily select those nodes with the smart selector in NXCAE selecting feature edge nodes even though there is no edge or geometry associated with the nodes we can quickly and easily select the nodes that we want we'll define some vertex nodes and the distribution method and define the mapping
we'll continue to define our node to edge mappings. We can also define a node to face mapping. Here we're defining another node to face mapping. Here we're continuing to use the smart selector to define additional node to edge mappings. Once we have all of the mappings defined, we can show the result. And it does a quick element quality check to show us any potential problem elements. And we've completed the morphing. NXCAE allows you to quickly and easily manipulate FE-only models with mesh morphing.